Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching on this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, someone said that we should not mix politics and religion or church. But the fact remains that a church or even a, um, if, if it is Muslim uh, religion, they have a role to play in our politics and the governance. So the truth is that we can't link the two. Only if the other side is failing to take their duty and playing into the other side's trap. But if everyone takes their role and play it accordingly, then all of us will be serving the interest of the people. We have had other, of course, uh, people like Bishop uh, uh, Joy and the rest who stood up when things were going wrong. And they even went on accident of protesting, demonstrating. Yani you want the government to pack our skin and bidi, uenda kwa maandamano na kusimama na wanainchi. So, a church has a role to play. A mosque or a Islamic also, as a religion, they have a role to play equal in governance or anywhere. With all this, we saw how William Ruto was using the church to propel his politics uh, and interest to power. You know, he used the church. In as much he wasn't supported that way he was painting, still he used the church. He branded himself as a candidate of the church. With all that, we know the backlash we've had from the church and um, how the church has been trying to get out of this. But then we asked a question. If church will get it wrong, how do you expect the government to get it right? Because when you have conflict, the easiest way to solve without going to court and in fairness of everything, it is the church. The church will bring people back together, a community, be it what. It is the church that is expected to guide, counsel the government or those who are in authority. But when the church is involved in conflict to an extent of turning physical to your fellow um, uh, faithful, what do you expect? I'm talking so because we had uh, and seen a video trending on social media whereby SDA church in Kisi, um, specifically Nyabigera, there are uh, individuals who have involved in a fight, and more than 10 faithfuls are nursing injuries. Imagine a fight in the church to solve a conflict. Where are we heading to as a nation? If this is what the youth are now seeing happening in the church, the same church you expect to guide and counsel those in authority. So the end of Watch
Now, as we continue with the final discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our return subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, when you talk about the church, you are talking about Christianity. You are touching on Christians. So, whenever such kind of a sad incident occurs, it gives Christianity a bad name. But another disclaimer here, these are just some of the few bad characters in the church. But we still also have the other churches that are well organized, including even other SDA churches, Adventist churches, that are so much organized and they cannot go to this far. So it is not all churches are doing so. But we are bringing this one out because, again, in as much the church has to warn those in authority when they are wrong, we must also tell them when they get it wrong. Because you can't stage such kind of a fight. Then tomorrow, you see William Ruto using police officers killing Kenyans through order shoots to kill. Then you say you are coming to advise the government. No, no, no. It can't work that way because already from your own side, you have terribly failed. So you must first of all serve as a good example. Then when you get out of speak, you will see you coming with clean hands. So that we can trust what you are saying. But when you stage a fight in church, in fact, this is the, the story here is that a fight erupt in SDA church. They are giving SDA church a bad name when we have one of the best preachers from this church. <laughs> eh, people like uh, Pastor Elizabeth Mkoro and the rest, they have been blessing us. Through their preaching, they have been gracing our screens. And we get spiritual guidance. But Sasa, when you see these characters, what do you see? And the conflict in the church, it's all about church leadership. And even church leadership is all about finances. Who is controlling finances? Who should be in church? In church. So if we go to this level, whereby now we take fight in church to solve political, uh, you know, uh, you know, leadership conflict. Kareba ni sema political conflict. Sasa hana ni kama hata sasa siyasa ziko kanisani, siyasa mbae. So they are solving leadership conflict through physical fight. So what image are you planting in our youth? What kind of a seed are you planting in Gen Z's? Because when the youth discovered that the government is in a wrong trajectory. They have used the church in a wrong way. They went to the church. And most of the church leaders gave a listening ear to this youth. And indeed, they blocked politicians from using or abusing the pulpit. So, the youth knew that we need to get our church back. 
that our church have, have a role to play. Then this is the kind of issues we are subjected to from the church. These leaders should be called to an order. The SDA church should discipline them. They are giving a bad name to the church of SDA and to Christians at large. Because I'm saying so, okay, assume our Muslim brothers are watching this video. What do you expect them to say about the church? Haitakwa in SDA church, it will be now wa Christo, Christians, you see? Or a Hindu, or a Buddhist for that matter. Or even non-believers. So how do you expect to convince non-believers to come to the church when they see clearly you are using a physical fight to solve an a, a, you know, a leadership problem or conflict. Church is a place where you go to solve your conflict uh, rather than going a physical way. What wange pigana, wange wana, wange fana mababaya, ukienda kanisani, pastor nakalisha watu chini, wanakuwa na solution in a different way that is uh, so um, uh, that is uh, very diplomatic rather than going a physical way. So these people are giving a bad name to the church and imagine now William Ruto will be here doing the same mistake. How do you correct him? Akinagashaku and the rest. How do you correct them? It means we are seeking as a country if we have religious leaders going this far and allowing this kind of behavior to happen in the church. It's sad. It should never happen. And it should be called to a stop. I don't know your views. But let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.